Hello and welcome to the community. I'm very, very happy to be here with you. Today, I'm going to be talking about a very, very pressing issue. Very, very, very pressing issue because this issue has been affecting a lot of guys around the neighborhood. All the makers, all the Emmanuel, all the Daniel, I'm talking to all of you. And you guys need to come here immediately because we need to trash this issue now. We are going to trash the Mr. Nice Guy Syndrome issue. This issue has been affecting a lot of men. Yes, we need to trash this. So we need to know why this happened and the consequences for these issues. It is a very, very big issue. Let us not take it like it's a very, very small thing. Now, I'm not saying that we all have to be rude as guys and girls. I'm not saying that we have to go out there assholes okay this is a different thing but there is a threshold to which you do these things and when you overdo it you become a mr nice guy some people will call it sin so it's not a very very good thing let me tell you it's not a good thing at all so you need to stop it and i'll show you how now come with me nice guy you are sweet you are soft you are shy and you are mr please everybody you want everybody to be happy but you don't know that you cannot make everybody happy especially when it comes to the opposite sex okay yes i'm talking to you guys i'm not talking to girls this is not for the ladies ladies you can watch maybe take it to your own advantage but i'm talking to the guys okay listen and listen very very well you are sweet you are soft you are shy what else you want to please everybody that is how it all starts okay so now when we say everybody here we are not talking about your fellow man because your fellow man for you is, is your normal gg we are talking about the opposite sex you want to please them now sometimes even when you don't have any attraction towards a girl you just want to please her you just want her happy i see some guys whenever they come in contact with a girl or maybe we are, we are in a room and a girl just a girl just walks into that room the next thing you see that they change their accent everything changes it's like it's so so alarming and it's so crazy how guys will just make this change in in seconds just because the girl just walked in so many things like this you see you see a guy who doesn't have money is going heaven and earth to to do a lot of things just to make one silly girl happy the funny thing is the girl is probably not even your girlfriend the most annoying thing is you're just asking her out and she hasn't said yes to you but you're doing heaven and earth to her just to please her let me tell you one thing you don't know about trying to please a girl especially with money from the beginning when you try to win a girl over with money from the beginning that girl is not going to see anything as a profit making machine she's just going to see you as her fan because you started with money and that's how you have to continue so if you start with money you need to have a lot of money to sustain that that thing you started from the beginning i don't know whether you get you get what i'm saying so, so quick story now let me tell you i was once a mr nice guy like a very very chronic one okay i couldn't even say no to guys sometimes like my conscience was so so sensitive like i was like oh who's this person feeling i don't want to hurt his feeling i don't want to hurt her feeling and god i was told with like everybody saw me like a big joke not like i was a joker i was not a comedian but yeah that's the end product of being a mr nice guys nobody takes you serious they, they know that uh this one i can do many hard you will not do anything and yes i was like mm, i don't get, i don't get angry too easily uh, i'm not the angry type i don't have a hot temper no no don't even say so you don't have to have it you don't need to have a hot temper for you to have sense do you get what i'm saying like you don't need to you don't need to have a hot temper now that everybody has the right to be angry so don't say because uh i don't have a hot temper so i don't get angry you'll be told with you'll be messed with anointings will be done to you and you end up saying that you don't have a hot temper so you're not going to be angry no that's where it all starts all those things i've just mentioned are the qualities of a mr nice guy and you have to put this stop to if you watch the video up to this point i wonder why you haven't liked the video come on just press the like button and if you know you have friends who have these traits share the video to them okay let them watch and learn okay and above all subscribe and if you're watching from facebook then leave a like like the page follow the page I will all be happy. One of the consequences of him is that you will be used by girls. You will be used by girls. Now, what am I saying? There's probably something that you're going to have strength in because it might not be money. So some girls just see you. Maybe it might not. They have someone who's giving them money. Maybe you like this girl, okay? So she's looking for something she can achieve from, from you. She don't, obviously don't want to date you or have a long-term relationship with you. So she's just going to use you for a particular thing. Maybe you're a smart guy. She wants to use you for assignments. In case you guys are into, there must be something that she's going to use you for. Okay, when you're being all sweet, soft, and shy, and all of that, you'll be used, my brother. Okay, and then if you like a girl, okay, and she has seen girls know how to tell a Mr. Nice Guy and a real man. Okay, so when you you've come, you're, you're meeting her for the first time, and you're you're showing all those traits that uh, 
that implies that you're a Mr. Nice guy. She's going to know. And the next thing is she's going to start using you. She's probably going to eat the small money you have. She's probably going to be telling you left and right. She'll do everything. And girls are very, very good at that. They are going to do everything that will put you off. Don't see what, what you don't see your reaction. And when you don't, when you keep reacting exactly the way they thought, they'll make you angry and you'll be all smiley and all of that. Oh my God, they'll use you. Do you know what the spanner is? Do you know how mechanics use spanner? After they'll use you, you, you will not have sense again. So, stop it. Second thing is, you'll be seen as a big man. A Mr. Nice Guy is a big man. That's how the lady see you. I know a lady wants to be with a big man. A lady wants to be with someone that can protect her. Someone that can take charge of, of, of situations. A weak man is somebody who, who shies away. A weak man is someone who cannot stand up for his woman. Now the funny, now the funny thing about being weak in women eyes is not that you are you don't have strength or you're not physically fit. No, I'm not talking about that. Now this weakness I'm talking about is that the woman sees you as less of a man. She doesn't see you as a real man, okay? Because she believes you are weak. You cannot even stand up to her. So how will you stand up to situations that are coming? Some some guys don't even know how to show your anger. A woman does something to you and. Some men, some some girls will do it to you like intentionally. They want to see what you do. Then you just say, it's all right. Some of you will even will end up begging her. Ha! Ah. Now, I'm not I'm not talking about the scenario of marriage or dating. Um, married couples. This is not for you. This video is not for you. Okay, but this is most importantly for those guys who have a crush okay you have a crush and then uh, you, and then you start misbehaving now you liking somebody does not mean you need to be stupid okay you can still have your full sense with your hundred your hundred percent capacity to be a man even when you like somebody you liking somebody does not changes the way you think okay so do not allow anything that is inside you to control i don't even know where this thing comes from okay he just keeps on telling you that do it like this do it like this i don't know whether it's the devil i don't know i don't know where that spirit is coming from but you need to stop it needs to stop and i'll show you how you can stop it okay i'm here for you i'll show you but before then let me tell you two other consequences of being a mr nice guy the third thing i'm going to tell you is that most mr nice guys are destined to fail in life now why did i say so now the reason is because when you spend all your savings you spend all the money you have it might not be so much on trying to please a particular girl she's going to see you as a money punching bag she's going to see you as a money machine so she will drain you and then you, you keep on spending you keep on breaking the bank you even go as far as taking loans eh? just please her so she'll keep on asking so you keep on spending and spending at the end of the day because you cannot say no to her you, you spend and spend and spend and spend all your life savings and you become broke so you will make it in life and then finally even if you actually get the woman of your dreams you get that girl you've been craving for that girl you're crushing on massively even if you eventually get her there's a tendency she'll cheat on you because she still sees you as a weak man that's what happened if you're a nice guy so whether you're a Mr. Nice Guy in a relationship or a Mr. Nice Guy trying to get into a relationship, it's not good. The first thing, the first thing that I'm going to tell you that is a solution, stop being a Mr. Nice Guy, is first learn how to say no. If something does not sit well with you, just say no. And when you do say no, don't give a long, um, a long episodes of excuses and reasons why you say no. Say no. And that's it. No. Okay, and then if the girl is kind enough to ask you why, then give her a very, very short reason. You don't have to go and start laying emphasis on it and start writing episodes or explaining yourself. Just give her episodes. You could just say something like, no, uh, it doesn't sit well with me. And that's all. Okay, leave her to her choices. She'll get angry. But then when she goes on the long one, she realizes, hmm, he's becoming a man. That's, that's good. He turned me down today. Wow. And then she'll also intentionally try you again. But now, always say no when it does not sit well with you. I am not telling you to go out there and be an asshole. I'm not telling you to go out there and be rude, okay? I'm not telling you to go out there and become a bad guy. Not everybody's meant to be a bad guy. Some of us are just nice, okay? But learn how to say no. Because if you cannot say no, that is the beginning of the Mr. Nice Guy syndrome in your life. I mean, it will run you down to run you down if you watch my last video on, you, on my youtube page you see the video i made about a particular guy called Fabo and how he could not say no to his crush but though he said no to his own friends it is not a good life to live so you better stop it the second the second solution to stop being a mr nice guy you need to start taking more attention to the way you smell when you smell well it gives you more confidence to stand 
around any woman. Now, there are some of you who just look at a guy and say, oh, no, this one's way out of my level. This one is way out of my class. You already judge yourself before she even judged you. Okay. Now, that is where smelling good comes in. When you smell well, you have this confidence that I smell well, I can stand anywhere. So you go and stand there, even if you're using a cheap perfume, as long as it's smelling. Okay, you will measure up. Okay, so always learn how to smell well. Some of you pay more attention to buying expensive clothes, and you buy expensive clothes and you smell bad. I'm just looking at you. Now, I'm going to tell you about Mr. Beast. He's the most successful person on YouTube, like the most successful YouTuber ever. Okay, he has about 100 and 40 or 50 million subscribers and he has over 100, 100 million views in any of his video. Every one of us who do YouTube are aspiring that one day we can be like this, that is, even when we don't, we don't know whether it's going to happen. We don't know whether it's going to happen, okay, but we all aspire to be Mr. Beast. I have not seen a video where Mr. Beast made an appearance either on his video or on another person's show and he wore trousers. That guy wears short, wear shorts for a living and t-shirt okay you can never see him looking corporate but he's he's super rich he's he's a youtube billionaire or maybe millionaire not yet billionaire he's a youtube billionaire do you know what that means he makes a lot of money millions of millions of dollars every year okay but he, he doesn't look that serious some of you will, will, will break the bank buy gucci buy prada buy um different designers we are just please won't get and then you don't smell well god red flag you have killed everything everything you've killed it all so that is one of the things better smell well it's better to smell well smell well and wear your simple clothes than wearing your expensive clothes or wearing those very very luxurious clothes and not smelling well so take note of that the next thing i'm going to tell you is learn how to stop asking redundant question okay how are you how was your day have you eaten all of these things are not necessary all of those things are really really not necessary okay now when you, when you want to talk to a girl you can just ask her Hope you're good and that's all okay any other conversation you need to have proceed to it how are you how was your day how are your siblings it does not mean you are nice it does not mean she likes you. and girls hate it they, like they really really hate those questions especially if they're not into you okay or maybe they're not close to you they will only tolerate those questions when they know you you guys are close and that's when you have the right to ask all those questions what's your business with all those questions what's the business of what she hates what's your business eh? So go straight to the point. Hope you're good. How are you doing? So it's fine. That's all. Go straight to the point. What are you waiting for, bro? And don't always, don't always, don't always you like a girl and you you're making a conversation with her, and then the first thing you're trying to do is trying to be a friend. Then when I be a friend, I'm like, no. Okay, show you show, show. what what is your motive? Spell it out. Okay. If it doesn't work, fine. Okay, if she wants to keep you in the friend zone, fine. She will friend you. You will not friend her. You keep doing your thing, okay? Girls do not like people that are too available in fact if you're too available even when you're dating her she begins to love you less so you need to be unavailable she doesn't like you you ask her out and she doesn't give you a reply that suits you stay away okay maybe once in a while after like two months if she does not text you fine you text her how you doing hope you're good hope life is treating you well okay you go back another two months one day she's going to realize because you are you are being mysterious so she's going to want to find out who is this guy okay but when you're too predictable Last thing I'm going to tell you is try as much as possible but not to get ahead of yourself. Okay, you know that this is your this is this is your um, budget. You know that this is what you have to spend. You know that this is what you earn, and then you want to go and break the bank just to please a girl. No, no. And to all the guys who have done that in the past, I think you should learn. It's not in any way a way. It's not in any way a means of getting a girl. If a girl likes you, she likes you. You don't have to break the bank. Do what your power wish. Okay. Okay, don't go do past yourself. It's not small. Do the most you can. And don't always explain things. Don't give her a gift and say, This is what I could afford. No, no, don't do that. If I give, they have given her a gift, they have given her a gift. There are people who never give her a gift than you have. Okay, so these are some of my own two cents about these things. And you should take my, you should start taking my, taking my advice right now. There's nothing good that comes from being a Mr. Nice Guy. I, you might not you might not know you're a mr nice guy but if you have these qualities you do this some of these things i've said in this video then you have to stop it you're a mr nice guy and girl will use you she will use you even if you're actually dating her she will cheat on you you just take the information okay and if you think that um you have an opinion that is contrary to this fine and good you can tell me in the comment section this is my own two cents you can leave your own two cents in the comment section we'll all be fine we'll learn together okay this is molu pictures 
my name is David Asu. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I forgot. If you watched the video up to this point, I wonder why you haven't liked the video. Come on, just press the like button. And if you know you have friends who have these traits, share the video to them, okay? Let them watch and learn, okay? And above all, subscribe. And if you're watching from Facebook, then leave a like. Like the page, follow the page. I will all be happy. And when another video comes, you'll be happy to learn more because I'm going to keep on staying here and educating you. All the Mika guys, Daniel, Imawe, all of you. you guys, it's a serious matter. But I'm sure you have learned, okay?